living life every day, late at night, not okay, all I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror, so foggy, but I've never seen clearer. I don't really hey think guys, anyone can save me. It's Bish and Dando. Oh, um, let's get to it. Um, we've asked you guys on, on Insta and to send us questions that you would like us to, to answer, so we're gonna answer those. Okay, straight into it. <laughs> so the first question is, are you guys staying together? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are staying together. Yeah. Um, we have been asking this question and like, should I answer? So we're on TikTok and some on YouTube as well. Mm. And I kind of felt like, yeah. Answer but yeah, we are staying together. It's it's nice. Look, for the people that will judge, it's something that we talked about. You know, for the way we're planning to 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 spend our lives, we trying to learn each other, yeah. you know, stuff like that. And most importantly, Undando like had like issues with by she just like stay maybe a week and like oh I'm bored, nothing did you know. No, but even the board and the board. I know, but it's very important. It was very important to kind of like learn to stay together in a way, you know. Even if you know you don't feel like, you know. But at least now we know that we we need to spend some time apart then there, you know, mm -hmm. like we spoke. Okay, the second question is have you ever had females come to you saying bad stuff about Sudan? Um, no, no, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah, and then, though, how do you handle men who approach you and offer you soft life to cheat or leave your man? Ooh, okay, <laughs> okay, let's see. Nice question. Uh, it happens very often, but gay. <sighs> I didn't know. I have been so long, I think no, not doing that. <laughs> but okay, but I know, I know, like there are people like offering, uh, take you out, yeah, buy you this, buy you that. But I wouldn't say that's soft life. Soft I guess. life. Oh, I don't even understand a soft life when you don't cheat. Soft life means you don't have to work. Okay, there was this one guy, he bikes. What he, what he now? What he? If you were my girl. You wouldn't be working or doing anything. We were planning, you know. Okay, maybe not planning. You guys, you know, but it's okay. So, but yeah, we too. I mean, it's it's a matter of discipline and knowing what you got and appreciating what you got and knowing that it's not always about the money. It's okay, I think the most important question, not maybe let me not say most, but frequently asked. Frequently asked question is. How did you guys meet? It's a it's a story, you know, and I think. But we've been telling the story. Yeah. Okay, maybe for our new followers and subscribers, maybe mm. other yeah. So, yeah. I think it's a it's very important that we get our story right. You know, not that we we are creating the story, but I feel like it's gonna be asked for a very long time. You know. Yeah. If we go to a function and we enjoy that, you know, hey guys, how did you meet? Blah blah blah. You know, people that don't know that we have YouTube and stuff. But anyway, how did we meet? <laughs> Why is it that you're asking me? <laughs> Why is it that you're asking me? Okay, uh, okay, I'll answer. I'll answer. So. I feel like going to ask the time one is the same. Now, if I tell it from my perspective, it's like I think the girls are not bad, so oh. I, I don't want to. <laughs> God, brother, you tell. <laughs> That's so true. That is so true. Um, I can't remember the year. Was it twenty twenty sixteen January? That's when we met. Um, here in East London, I was out with my friends. It was Landy, of course, and then we were just drinking. We were just drinking all night, and it was in the morning, first day of twenty sixteen. And then it was just like I saw Undando and a friend Yaki. 
Give me that look. <laughs> Just give me that face. That's okay. Yeah, so Uganda with her friend, you know. And I know she disagree with with the approach yam a lot, but I saw her and her friend, and I was like, shakes. My son was telling her about that. Let's talk to these girls. And the shakes, I knew shakes. Shakes was in a relationship, so she he, he didn't put in any effort. But yeah, he we went to them and. Okay, um, what were your first impressions of each other? Oh, but I still remember, you know, as much as but she won't agree with what I say, but I saw her, you know, just like, yeah, she had like a short hair, a tinted goldish or something, blonde, blonde, yeah, I'm like, damn. I saw her soul from a distance. I was like, I can see, I can see your soul, girl. I can see your soul. I want to get in there. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> How did we end up together? I feel like that's a question. We knew each other before, but we never like really spent like too much time maybe seeing each other more than three times a week. But that did happen. I think we started like seeing each other more often we went dating but you know taking walks and stuff just talking about things you know uh she uh, come and see me you know and stuff like that um we go for movies you know to a point whereby we kind of like yeah and obviously we had a relationship that when working i think that's very important as well we had a relationship that when working and they ended and we were like, you know what? You know what? We we should we should do this. You know? And <laughs> I can't remember what what woman and what team now. But yeah. I don't know complain the way it's for you right after the woman. That him. What are you last? <laughs> what we only got like a week or three. What what we get three weeks, ne? Yeah, then we get three weeks. But see, don't focus on those negative. Maybe I call negative. Why we get three weeks? We get three years ago. Don't focus on those negative. Okay, fine, I said that. But yeah, that's how we ended up together. Was, you know, after a long time. I mean, like even like before that, we were we were communicating and stuff. In love with him. Oh, Tulu, why am I with Yena? Yo, yo. Falling in love, falling in love. Uh, I don't believe that nobody you just fall in love with someone. You have to make that decision yourself. But you know what? I'm gonna love this man. And. <coughs> love me. Why? Based on what? I'm just like make a decision. I'm gonna love this person. For me, that was because of you don't don't you don't don't. But say for me, like I'm gonna answer him. Unjalo and I come up with me pen. You know, say take for me. Where? He's handsome. He's tall. He's dark. He's smart. He's he's all that. He's kind. He's gentle. So. That's that. <laughs> so Nando, how do you how how do you go? I mean, maybe it's for both of us because I kind it's of definitely like, for both of us. I saw the it. <laughs> how do you how do you compare your current relationship with your previous relationships? <sighs> you start there. I hope it's a good question. It is a big question. It's just something that I never really thought of. But yeah. Well, I've been in relationships. I've been like I, I believe in love, and maybe around me were in relationships, and I didn't know what exactly I was doing or what I was looking for. I was just looking for love, and I didn't really know what love meant at that time. So, whatever happened, I'd say, thinking about it now and comparing it, maybe it was just last trying era but i'm grateful because 
you know I, I feel like now i i understand what it means to be loved and what it means to love someone and appreciate someone so yeah i think i should have answered first because i don't feel like i'll beat your answer not that it's a competition <laughs> but i feel like that was a good answer <laughs> How do you define love? I think I think for me, man, it's just this is this relationship. I would say this relationship, what we're doing, you know, um, being loved, to love, to to you know, to do things together, to grow together. That's the definition of love. Spending time together, you know, being together through it all, you know, um, bad and good times, you know, you know, making sure if I fell down, you 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 there for me. Going to movies, you know, all those things that define life. Doing everything with someone that you love, you know. And I think uh, the last part of your question: How do you know you're in love with someone? I know you're in love when you actually find someone that you feel comfortable to do all these things, to do life things, to do life itself with someone, you know, wanting to. Be with someone even when you're not with them, you know. And doing the things that your partner loves, you know. It's you know not just about you, you know. If 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 your partner loves to do certain things, you kind of like do it like like how I did with that uh, weave thing, you know. She loves that, and I have to do it sometimes, you know. So that's that's how you know you're in love, you know. Okay, how long have you have you and your hub been together? My husband I'm going to <laughs> see my husband my husband. How long have we been together? Like dating dating um three years. Three years. Three years a couple of months now, maybe two months. Something Three. along those lines. It's uh, my longest relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why I clap the last time. But yeah. It happens, guys. When it lasts, so it happens. <laughs> okay, another question. Do you, what do you do for a living? Okay. Um. Can I just start? Because I feel like it means it does a chat. I don't do it. I don't do it. It means it's like a simple answer. Okay. Did you gonna start? No, it's fine. I am a software developer, you know, um, to be specific, mobile, I do mobile development, um, yeah. Don't want the apps, guys. I can, I, like, like, in Shira I can go into detail, but I, I won't, because I just want to know what, I know there will be questions maybe around that, you know, stuff like that, but it's just like mobile development apps, you know, and I work on the biggest apps in South Africa, unfortunately. <laughs> and some of you look at it, I work on one of the biggest firms in South Africa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Student and uh, content creator, Cinefix distributor, I have a life distributor. <laughs> that was so good. That was, that was too good. You see the better way of. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's what I do. What's your favorite memories together? I love that question. I thought it's a very good question. Ah, let me think. Oh, when we made the things there by 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 the beach at night. Our first picnic. Yeah. 
That's your favorite. One of my favorites. Okay. <laughs> okay. When you made the thing, the thing, the you know. Hmm. Fine. Sure. Let me expose. But my favorites. What? <laughs> 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 Dead. Mm -mm. Open up. <laughs> okay, I'll, 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 I'll give another one. I think um, another one would be. I think when we went to that place in, in for, my birthday. for your birthday, yeah. he, those were good memories. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think that's one of mine as well. I wouldn't say favorite, but it's one of the memories that uh, sti still stick. Um, the the incident when we were going to a king, so it, it's a memory that you know it won't it won't go away. Definitely, yeah. People people that are watching will be like, why what, what happened? You know, I think they will never know. In fact, what we will do is we'll create a video explaining that incident and then only p certain people can see it. <laughs> when I'm the VA, I'm going to be a fan of Chola K. I'm going to be a fan of Chola K. Oh, you're going to be a No, I'm not. I'm not. But... I'm not going to be a fan of it. I'm not going to be a fan of it. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Okay, fine. Okay. What have you taken or learned from being in a healthy relationship? That uh, I've learned that uh, you're worth your love and you don't have to be perfect to deserve love. If someone loves you the right way, and you love them back it's literally the best thing that could ever happen to you and you have to appreciate that you have to preserve it in a way and yeah yeah that's what i've learned for me is that i don't have to be in the streets anymore you know i'm comfortably at home doing what i love i don't have to go to clubs uh, trying to find girls, whatever, spending time with girls. I don't, uh, I don't even know drinking alcohol and stuff. I just have a girl that I spend time with, do whatever I want to do with, you know, perfect. Yeah. <clears throat> Another question How do you and Bash maintain the health spark in your relationship? Doing what we love and enjoy to do. Yeah. And making sure that we don't stop because one of the things that we always talk about like you get used to it you know and and stop i think for us we kind of like do it you know we do it even sometimes it's feel like oh let's stay at home but mm -hmm. we go out and have dinner we do these things not because we're pushing ourselves but yeah it's a good thing to do to go out there you know you know i think that's that's that and just appreciating one another every day because if those things happen just like you just stop you know i think that's how we you know helping each other you know to grow i think that's one of the things not just in like in a romantic way but just like supporting each other being there for each other you know and we i think we understand that the relationship grows and some of the things that we used to do we don't but we and I think most importantly, being friends and resolve conflicts in your relationship. I mean, I think we just express ourselves. We just like talk about it and try to find a common ground in whatever mm -hmm. conflict that we have and listen to one another. Definitely, definitely. I like that because. I think maybe when we started dating, we kind of like had things, you know, you know, we didn't like very things like I, I would be doing and she'd be doing, you know, and kind of like, 
you know this is not good you know and but we will talk about those sit down explain in a detailed way not like in a rush blah blah blah, blah. Mm. which is like sit and look a b and c it's very good and fortunately i would say the schools i think the schools for Uganda as well I, we kind of i know for us sometimes it's not like how i'm gonna put it but i have like a nice way of putting things you know without fighting about it you know just like hey a and b and c i don't like that because of a and b and c mm-hmm. i think it would be better to do a b and c you know yeah. you know that's how i operate i know sometimes with her being a woman sometimes she kind of like okay let's just say <laughs> i'm not gonna talk <laughs> i'm not gonna talk like, what's that, wrong uh uh mm-hmm. thing is when are you good at communicating yeah well and you know i'm still learning i guess yeah. so but i'm getting there i always encourage like with everything you know in life i think like like you said growth you just have to learn to communicate about almost everything or everything um but i know there are things that you're not there yet to talk about but as we go but it's just communication sitting down with one another and like talk it through till we have like a solution and have a, like a <coughs> a, a way of talking things through yeah but not, don't just be on some and you turn the and don't do don't do it at least to tell your partner but this is how I feel, Nalendra. And you're going to get married to the man. Are you going to get married, not married? I honestly wouldn't mind marrying this man, guys. As long as he stays the way he and is right now and to grow and keeps loving you. You know, definitely. Mm-hmm. What does Besh like most about Uganda? I think I think the question I think I said something similar like to this recently. I think ain't just about the beauty and everything. I think it's just the energy more. Like it kind of like kind of like matches mine, like she's just like she, she's calm, you know. I love that, you know. I can be dramatic if I want to. <laughs> I can be a crazy as bitch. But I think I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people say like, "Oh, men date, blah blah blah," and something similar to the Amanda. I don't know, but I think in terms of energy, you know, like she, my mom was was calm. You know, I love I love that, and you calm as well. I think that's the most important thing that I love about and then, you know yeah there are other things we can do but mostly it's just like it's that how do you guys meet no how long have you been together no if Besh would cheat what would you do not saying he will cheat <laughs> no but what would you expect me to do <laughs> I don't know but I think one of the basic things that we said when we started this relationship is that we won't be taken for granted. You we won't allow that to be taken for granted that you if you still remember. And we always say that if you know if you wanna be with someone else, go do that. You you're more than free to 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 leave this relationship. We we're more than free to leave this relationship if it ain't working, you know, it won't be an issue. So that's what we always say. If if I cheat, she can leave. If 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 she cheated on me, I can leave. You know, so it's just that. Mm, what's something you use to believe about a relationship but no longer? No, but more than that, I have more experience, so... I'm not in a relationship as a four, I feel like it's a normal. 
Ay, hindi. Okay, I'm gonna be now more than for the environment experience. But can I go? I don't have an answer. What's something you used to believe about relationships but no longer? Um, all I can say is that relationships are different and your perception of a relationship might differ from mine because like we are all exposed to many things. Like the internet, the London, the whatever, you guys can believe that a relationship can be all sweet and honeymoon, you know. But there is another side of relationships. You have to compromise at some point, you have to get out of your comfort zone and yeah. It's not always lovey dovey. That's all I can say. Okay. Don't you ever feel like your boyfriend is taking things slow, marriage-wise? I understand that I'm still young and I want to grow. I want to experience myself with different phases of life. I want to experience myself the, the successful, you know. I think it's very important, like, I'm sure that it's a good thing, but as a person, you need to see yourself grow, achieve things as you maybe and then get to a point whereby you do things with someone as well you know in terms of you know a lot of things building buying whatever traveling you know get your money eat your money and eat you know i'm gonna eat your money uh, is what is something that annoys you about him how about you? <laughs> like, like, as I, as I, does it, is it like your ex? Isn't it like, uh, ne? You know, can't stand the easy, can it? And then, cooking, I can't mix the sitches in tiger thinking, and then when I was over there, Uben won't call you for the sitch, I was she passed them tiger, even a cab, we can't eat on. Now, can you know? Like why can't you just rinse and make a fire? Um, I'm busy. I need to do something out of that. No, I'm taking the nine nine. Okay. Uh, are you planning to have kids? Definitely. Um, hopefully yes. Yeah, sometime in the future. Yeah. Sometime. I'm just enjoying this life really. It's it's really good. Yeah. No, I feel like we're still young and we still need to grow and enjoy ourselves. Seeing I've been a responsibility on done and just <clears throat> even like when we get married, okay, if we get married, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when we like get married and do all those things to just enjoy ourselves, our youth and not have a responsibility. I also feel like having Omdana is it's a lot of money, maturity, whatever, whatever. And also, nah, I don't want to raise kids by myself. I don't want to put kids through a, a, a life of being <laughs> raised by a single parent. I don't want that for my kids. So, I've got a plan. We've got to plan this. Can they right? And mm. do it the right way. As when he surprises us, when he opens him of joy, got that semi depression. Uh, are you the only child? No, I'm not sorry. I have siblings. That's a long story, but from my mom, technically I am, but I have I have a sister. You know, it's a long story. I love her to death. From my father's side, I like a lot. <laughs> of sisters yeah. and brothers and also also done from from her mom the two of you and from from her father should i say i use the same description <laughs> a lot <laughs> Okay, okay. You see, this is the reason why I don't want to have kids anytime soon. Yeah, but money to try a lot. Just <laughs> explain, guys. But from oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to put my kids through that. How do your parents feel about you guys being together? I know my mom's happy for me, and about my dad, he 
is that girl yeah. that she's does he even know i think so i think my dad has tiktok so maybe we are born up even though he's never really said anything to me but i i know and i know he knows remember see i'm in a brother so i'm sorry up me don't on him in ways so are they okay with it i think they trust me enough to to know but yeah Okay, okay. And I mean, you, 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 I'm sure they'll say like, you, I'm sure you have a reason, you know, you could have done it before, you could have done it, you know, but mm. you're doing it now, there is a reason for that, I think. For me, I want to make a joke, but <laughs> <laughs> I will feel sad about it. I want to say, oh, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say, I want to say, okay, I don't have parents, but I could have said it in a in a in a funny way, but it wouldn't be funny either way. I don't have parents, so but I'm sure if they're looking down, they like you they made a good choice on this one. So yeah. How often do you all fight? You like fights? That's that's one thing. I don't like to fight. Yeah, they. I think Tinasi. We both calm as now your energy, your way is as now your energy, as now your energy, and we've always said, Yenza, you don't attend in the pool. You can translate that, but okay. Yeah, I think mean, it's easy to not cause issues. It's nice when there are no issues in a relationship. Just been just live life like a normal person or just just being a good person you know unfortunately we are good people so yep with my long nose please see my nose see my nose please big nose this is a lot this is a lot i love the fact that you you gentle you know you're humble you know how to deal with things and you always find solutions to whatever problems we have or I have or whatever. Like you, you take things slow and you think things through and find the best solution for everything. Thank you. I feel like that's a compliment. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How do you guys deal with the negative comments your relationship gets from time to time? That's a good one. Haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. Fuck <laughs> them haters. Fuck them haters. Fuck them haters. But uh, I don't even think he has born now when I moved to. Why? Yes, delete? No, just delete. Most, some of them are. They are born. They are born, but I just. I feel like whatever hate um to projects we know that they know nothing about it's just a reflection of them honestly it is nothing to do with us mm. as a couple or as people it's just them and how they're feeling maybe they've been hurt before maybe they don't believe in love anymore but I just take it as like it's you babes I'm not the problem, you know. So that's how I deal with it. Uh how do you okay, how is Lord Jenny going with hearts? Sana, if only I knew Ubaf Nagin Dames and Limit after you and Gil and But yeah, law is fine. I'm enjoying what I'm studying and Hoping for the best. I'm definitely hoping for the best. I hope whatever effort I'm putting through will pay off. It does. I'm talking from experience, you know. Once you put in hours and time in whatever that you love, uh, someday it's gonna pay off, you know. And if you don't stop, you will see the growth, you will see the payoffs, you know. It's just like I think when when things started to pay off, it's just like, okay, it's those hours that are put in. I can see them now. <laughs> That's all I feel. I really felt like, oh shit, okay, this is happening. Like, yeah. Okay, those were the you see that the hard times that are put in, they are now paying off. Yeah. 
I can't wait for the <laughs> moment. I can't wait. And get yeah, when you when you when when you're going through it, you can't see obviously the future. So it's hard to believe that will happen. Like what Steve Jobs said, you have to. I don't know, but you know, and then you look back, and then things will connect. Now, mm. once you're there, and then you're looking back. But since you're still going, you can't really, you know, tell me anything. Ah, uh, <laughs> who, uh, who normally pays for dates and vacations? But I'm not laughing that I'm laughing the second question. No, I, I have an answer for it already. Who normally pays for dates and vacations? I love to <laughs> <laughs> Sprinkle, sprinkle, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. But I do pay sometimes. Yeah, if like I initiate a date date, like a breakfast date, a coffee date, I pay for that. I mean, I'm a student after all, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember you once said when uh, your mom would have liked me. Okay, so let's talk about Emke Sanda. I wish I knew that uh, you won't get introduced to your parents. I take shares as woman. <laughs> I think if we really agree, I'm sure it's not the same though. Uh, it's I like you couldn't business. I know, but when a lot of girls would like, oh, that intro to some mama's eyes, like, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a thing to them. So it's not a thing to you. Or maybe you just uh, accepted the fact that it can never happen. I just accepted it. Being your decision, yeah, to your coins, like, that's all I've got. Like, me. So. Why do you think I feel a poop in my Uma. Uma. I Hey, Dando. <laughs> That's fine. I didn't know that you said that. One thing about me, okay, Brian, is that I'm a spa. And I got people that I'm a spa. You know? I got people. We again, but Nando, Nando, but I got people. Very bad people. That would do bad things, you know. Yes, the actor. I've been talking about him in conversation. Now I'm gonna forget to look at the time. What if we be in terms of slow Switzerland, but we na outfuni interesting. About him, the one. Now we pin the villa logo. We na sinzi umdanda do umdanda se zubo outin. Does it depend on my own time? <laughs> <laughs> what do you find the most difficult to discuss with your partner? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So go. You do? You do? I don't know. Why is it not your clock again? Because I know you. You know me. <laughs> I'm just a child. I go. Indo? You feel like you okay, Indo, it's easy like to just come and discuss everything with me. No. Yako yik. Uh yako yik, but yeah, I, I don't think that's a bad thing. You guys don't say you're bad anyway. Okay, it's about all your team response like okay, it's about all the team response like I don't think nobody in the eye has a team. Maybe I think it's about your team. Maybe just so like. What's the point? Wow. I didn't know about Yandu Yuka before. What was it like that, babe? We are a trope, but I don't know why. I mean. And that's it. Yeah. How does it feel? To be loved like this, it doesn't feel like a dream. Like come and say, why do you say a poop? Are you going to get it? When you mind this day, but I just want to be getting their poop. I'm like, hey, okay. There is no poop from them. Me not saying it's okay, you know. Mm mm, so we will something. Okay.
13. I don't have any questions in mind right now, so I will just say the Anitanda Kakulu. Thank you, we love you too. Okay, babe. Do you like dating someone who's aggressive? No. No. Aggressive, goodbye. <laughs> I think. Okay, sometimes with you, you turn like an aggressive. No, but it depends. Over cooking dog, over aggressive cooking dog, baby. That's why. Yeah, it depends. Over like aggressive cooking dog. Can't just change. I don't put any questions because it's well done. Play it a bit, question. And you close it off with a bang. What can you advise? <clears throat> what can you advise a 19 year old girl who's losing everything at a young age and lost a friend? Uh, I just firstly I wanna say that from the bottom of our hearts we sorry, you know. And if you're going through a lot, we're really sorry. Um, we hope that you feel good and you feel better. You know, and I think that in life, for Kamatesha, that we go through a lot. Kamatesha, that, you know, we're doing great. Kamatesha, that we're doing very well. Kamatesha, where we find love. Kamatesha, we, we start feeling there's time for everything. And if you're going through something right now, your focus should be to try to heal. Don't focus on what you're going through, like the pain that you're going through. Your focus is to try to heal. So my advice is that we all lose people, unfortunately. We lose the people that we love. We lose friends. We lose things, you know. That happens to everyone. But this focus on getting better and moving away from that situation and focus. You're still young, 19. If it's happening to you, focus on things that build you, you know. Mm -hmm. Try to move away from that dark space, you know. Focus on your studies, you know. Move, do things that you love so that you can focus more on those things than rather focusing on the dark things, you know, to try to move from those situations that you know. You know. Take walks, exercise. You know, exercise, do things that keep your brain running, your your blood running, so that you can't focus on the on the bad things, you know. Because if like if you um when you think about as it doesn't declare you, you know, they're gonna drag you down. It's it's sad enough that these things are happening. Let's say, let's say normally we're here and then bad things happen, we get here. And once you think about them for a very long time, you're dragging yourself down here by just thinking about those things. Because the more you think about them, the more you dig the hole that you can get out, you know. So try to do these things, these positive things, and try to get yourself up there again, you know? Talk to people, talk to your friends, Keep make fine. friends, you know? That's the advice that we give you. I like I don't want to brag, you know, I know I brag a lot, but if I could give advice, a lot of people would do well in life. Mm. If the advice is even got ten over ten, I ask. I ask. We done done, eh? We done done. We did it. It's good that we always do the same thing. in the mirror so foggy but i've never seen clearer i don't really think anyone can save me and honestly i'm not really sure i want saving i 